So good evening, everyone. Again, uh, third interview of the night. Um, and again, Arba joining me, which is a massive help. So Arba, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. How are you doing this evening, pal? Oh, not bad. Excited to to uh, finish up our interviews with uh, AM1. Yeah, 100%. Um, I'm too better, really, to, to get involved with the AM interviews than, than yourself, of course. Um, and joining us tonight, um, AM1... I am one's Nicholas. Um, so Nicholas, how are you doing today, Paul? Yeah, and um, I'm excited to be interviewed. Um, been a great week in COS for me, so glad to discuss it. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's where we're going to catch the kickstart. Actually, is with your most recent result. Um, so before we get started, um. Everyone who's listening in, if you want an interview, as I mentioned, every single one, just drop me a message and we'll try and arrange something. Um, but for tonight, enjoy. Um, everyone take care, sit back and relax. So, yeah, well, I think, as I say, Abba, I'm going to let lead with this one because I think he wants to cover a few bits and bats as well away um, from just, you know, Monaco, etc. So I might let Abba run with this one. So, uh, mate, fire away. Beautiful. Yeah, Nicholas, you had, I mean, we know, I guess, historically, you're probably one of the best qualifiers at Monaco that we have, maybe in costs. I don't know how confident you'd be with that. But you want to just uh, quickly run us through how, uh, how your qualifying and race went? Because uh, it seemed pretty smooth up at the front for you. Yeah, for sure. Um, so qualifying, it was a good session for the most part. Um, yeah, the first lap is always the bank, and then after that, I was sort of free to go for um, uh, as quick as I could in case I, I binned it or something. Then at least that way, I had something to start with. Um, I was really happy with most of my laps. The last lap, I was up by half a second and then lost four tenths in the last sector, which was um, a bit disappointing, but that's part of uh, most of the sport, making mistakes. If you're not doing that, they're not learning, so... Qualifying was overall pretty, pretty solid. And the race was pretty tame. There was a few moments where I had to overtake um, uh, in terms of cars that hadn't pitted yet. But it was pretty relaxed until the second stop when everyone started to move to the two stop. Um, it got a bit tense because on my outlap, I damaged my wing, just got a bit overconfident and then... Uh, stuck it in the wall and had to sort of cruise home with the uh, orange wing on the right side so it made it a bit difficult but overall a good week yeah it's good um well, now do you just for our viewers do you happen to remember the the time for your your uh, quality lap i think it was a 183 but i was on for a 1079 i was actually a bit annoyed with myself for uh, making a mistake but again these things happen in motorsport yeah i mean that's um them, them figures are ridiculous i'm like i could only dream of being even within a second of them times so <laughs> it, it, it just goes to show just how quick you are um obviously you, you're very confident as our bar said around um around my goal you, you know when you kind of go out on track um or when you did go out on track was you all was you kind of under the impression was you confident enough to kind of say to yourself i got this like before you even exited the pits in your own mind was it just a case of let's keep it clean and i'll get pole was you confident before you left the garage that you would have nailed it like you did well it was in because i wasn't incredibly in monaco's uh just a track the more confident you are to go and um i've been practicing with uh, kd and being beforehand who are really great to work with um in the red bull squad so practicing with them i'd seen i was a bit quicker than Bean, and then kd was also not too far off um both of us. So i was confident and looking at last season's time because we also had monaco then i could do mm -hmm. fairly well um yeah, I was confident, not like arrogant going into the session. Yeah, fair play. And I think um, it's obviously qualifying P1, um, the best place to be really at Monaco. Um, 
you know, he cruised home, obviously finished the race P1. Um, bit, of, bit of wing damage, bit of uh, bits and bats, but nothing major. Um, tell us about the race. How did the race go for yourself? Um, anything that kind of stuck out? Anything that you kind of thought, oh, no, not again? Or and anything at all? Tell us a little bit about how the race went. The wing damage before I did the second time, I put lime green damage on it. It wasn't substantial. So I was I was pretty confident the whole way through. The one thing that concerned early on was um, uh, when we had to overtake the cars that hadn't pitted instead of mediums or hards. Because around Monaco, first of all, it's not when you go for something, you're really reliant on the other car. Uh, trying to fight you for the position because it always ends in an incident. Yeah, I think um, you're absolutely right. I think in terms of your race, it was pretty quiet in that respect. Obviously, other than overtaking, um, you know, the cars which hadn't stopped at that point. But I think um, was your wing damage caused on the pit exit? Is that is that what happened for the main wing damage you got? Yeah, I hit, I clipped the pit wall. Um, which is really embarrassing, but to be honest, it's <laughs> easy to do it at Monaco. It's such a pit lane. But, um, of course. Yeah, I, I would have been disappointed to have lost the win just through that sort of mistake. But mm-hmm. it, it's an understandable mistake, and it sounds stupid, but it's um, not as bad as it, as it looks. No, I completely agree. Um, I'll probably get anything to add on to that one, pal. Well, while we're still talking about the race, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up, um, I guess just for me, the stark difference between your race this season in Monaco, and then, um, I don't know if you've blocked it out, but what happened to you last season in Monaco. Um, it, was there, do you think, was it just a difference in kind of the 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 track conditions or like the people around you? Why do you think, this week went so smoothly, whereas the last time we visited, I, I, I remember correctly, it wasn't wasn't the best of times. I wouldn't say last season was bad. I mean, obviously, the ones in front of me last year, uh, yourself, you've been a really strong driver, so I'm not disappointed or still thinking about that one, because either way, it's always going to be um, But the real difference was strategy. Um, last year, there was nearly a safety car, and I made the mistake of pitting. Uh, and it sent me a long way back. And, and I tried to overtake. I think at the time it was Perry the dog. And the, the move was just not on. And I damaged my wing. So I think I've grown a bit as a driver. And I'm a bit more patient. So that's probably what made the difference this year. Um, and yeah, obviously you rely on the other car when you're overtaking. Now I don't blame Perry because it was my own fault last season. But you you can't keep thinking about these things probably four months after, so <laughs> I went in with a fresh memory. Answer. Good answer. Um, so I think then, you know, just kind of moving on from Monaco, because as I say, with, a, with it being a, you know, P1 in qualifying, P1 race, I have a little bit of wing damage, it wasn't usually, you know, much to cover, you, you know, it was just a, a, like a near perfect race. Um, Obviously, the you know the last couple of races that you've kind of been out. Um, I think you P two in Hungary, qualify P two and finish P two. Then I think uh, qualify P two and then finish P one. Um, you know, just to kind of touch upon the past races. Um, you know, are you doing anything different? I mean, Alba mentioned obviously the incident from Monaco last season to how you re- reacted this season, but are you doing anything this? You you do anything different, sorry, from last season to this season, which has got you um where you are today, which is obviously two wins out of three races and the P two and the third one. Yeah, I'd say there's not an incredible amount that I've done differently. Again, I've matured a bit as a driver and I'm a little bit less uh hot headed isn't the right word, but aggressive I'd say. Um mm-hmm. I was I've always been relatively consistent, like in season five i uh, never won a race but i was normally on the podium um mm-hmm. i wouldn't say there's too much different i'm using no assist now uh, but that's a disadvantage 
so that that's a bit different um but yeah overall it's been a really good experience in the first three races bro Arthur? as the how's the transition to assists gone because i know going into the season uh some of us in am 1.5 were a little excited to have the the potential to you know maybe get on the the podium a bit more so has it been a lot of uh uh i guess a acclimation to it because you seem to have gotten up to pace to where you were quite quickly i didn't really have a choice in terms of getting up to pace i had to because obviously i am in the cos esports team and um they play no rl on pc which is like extremely competitive with having off um with being placed in that i had no choice but to get up to speed and obviously when you learn something you're not going to just forget it so it it was interesting and in taking that experience and applying it to somewhere where it's really strong like cos where you've got five different drivers who can win every week it always helps to just uh be in situations similar to this one in a really well both are extremely competitive leagues and love to be in them so just Practice is basically what's done it. How about the one possibly what you wanted to discuss as well regarding the esports, right? I believe. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, because I, as I've been lingering in the Discord over the last two days, I saw you. Um, it looks like you had a pretty cool, uh, experience or opportunity to, to race in something esports related. Do you want to? Uh, fill us in and let us know how that that whole thing went. Uh, the one today, or yeah, I think so. I, I saw. I think I saw it, your your social media post or, or something along those lines. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was good. I the COS esports. I got the opportunity um, to sub in for Groshan's esports team um, in NL um, in that league, which is. Also incredibly competitive, the likes of uh, some of the F1 esports drivers and a lot of the Challenger Series drivers in. So, yeah, it was it was cool to be a part of that. And yesterday, I was really actually thrilled to the bits. And I know I qualified 13th, <laughs> but 13th on, on such a good grid is really <laughs> quite quite a achievement for me. And then today, it was a shame. I was involved in an incident which i don't think i could have done anything differently looking back on it but um it ended my race a bit earlier than i'd have liked <laughs> but it was overall a great experience and thanks to cos i was able to take part and um be well, to drive for an f1 drivers team today was pretty or well, an xf1 drivers team was incredible so i really have to thank cos so much for that i think um to be fair mate i think it's it, it's huge for yourself. It, it's absolutely amazing to see, and I think I speak on behalf of everybody um, at Contest of Speed. You know, we, we kind of applaud you for for you know being a part of that. It, it's it's amazing to see someone we speak to on a daily basis, you know, and, and kind of interact with on a daily basis, being a part of Roman Grosjean's, you know, uh, esports team. It, it, it's incredible. So I think everyone should be than you for that I think it's um yeah it, obviously you, you've put a lot of effort in to what you enjoy doing which is you know sim racing and, and look where it's got you so I take my hat off to you pal I really do I could only wish a dream of being anywhere near where you are now so you know what fair play to you and like I say wish you all the best with that journey moving forward of course oh, thank you yeah it, it's it's really cool to see, but at the end of the day, I'm still a COS driver, and um, I'm still just like you guys. I I put in the same. Well, I don't know how much you guys practice, but I put in as much effort as I can, both in the actual league races and in my practices as well, spending a lot of time on there. So at the end of the day, I'm just like it's uh, really yeah. intense at that level, and COS is a sort of recreating that in their leagues so uh, honestly i love being part of this league yeah it's um it is a cracking league um i wish i could put more time in myself um for, unfortunately for myself my two and six year old don't let me do that 
Um, but no, look, uh, again, we appreciate your words. It's nice to hear a lot. You know, we, we get a lot of positive feedback because are very rarely negative. Um, and it's great to hear yourself say, um, say that. So, again, congratulations, you know, for what happened today. Um, I hope you get more opportunities with that. Um, and Arbar, again, was there anything you wanted to add off the back of that? I went on a bit of a tangent there. Was there anything else you wanted to kind of discuss <clears throat> with Nicholas? I guess... Um, the, the last thing we haven't really touched on as of yet is, I guess, the, the standings of AM1, because updated, uh, you're about 20 points clear of second and, um, you know, have a healthy lead. Are, are you feeling confident that you're going to take your second, uh, driver, driver's championship in a row? I wouldn't say, well, obviously as a driver, you have to be confident, um, but again, I wouldn't say I'm arrogant about it. And I know second down to fifth is a really strong group of drivers and anyone below that, the same sort of thing can be said. And Alp has missed the third round and uh, was unlucky in the first and second round, the first one with the pit error and um, the second one, me and him actually collided. Um, but you can never decide these things after three rounds, there's still eight left. So I guess we'll see as the season progresses but it's a long way to go um but you've you've had a, a great start and yeah uh it, it's great to to be able to like discuss these things now you've come so far as a driver and just a just an absolute pleasure to have you know drivers of your caliber to race with us in am1 it really you know represents the league and uh it, it fills it fills my heart with warmth to look at you know where AM one's come and now you know we have drivers who are competing at you know in esports in our league. It it's uh you know we we really appreciate it. So best of luck to you in in the rest of the season and you know in the in the further esports thing things as well. Thank 100%. you. Hundred percent. I think worthy perfectly. Couldn't agree more. Um, just one final thing. Um, Abu Dhabi, um, strong track, weak track. What, 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 what's uh, what's your thoughts on Abu Dhabi? Unpopular opinion, but I really like the track. Um, yes, I think I'm one to say that, but I really enjoy it. I know there's not much in terms of difficulty there in terms of staying on the track other than not getting penalties, but I do think the layout. Mm-hmm. Technical, so I do, I do like the track. So can we expect to win next week from yourself? Or oh, is that by going to stick here? We'll have to see. <laughs> Alp is really, you know, um, uh, from previous experience, he's really strong there. Well, well I'm, I'm just Brilliant. happy to be racing and hopefully be near the front. Fantastic. Well, a very, very level-headed Nicholas. Um, I think everyone will um, agree from what he's experiencing in these sports to, to, to what he's doing at COS is, is just absolutely amazing. So, um, first and foremost, thank you uh, to you both for joining me tonight. Um, Arbar, again, I can't do the AM without you, so really appreciate the time um, that you're putting in to helping me with it, with these uh, interviews on the AM side of things. Um, Nicholas, thank you for taking time out of your day. To, to, to kind of join us uh, it does mean a lot it's really helping push content to speed further so yeah thank you very much lads for uh, joining us this evening yeah thank you it's no problem anytime you want an interview I'm most of the time free <laughs> not a problem at all and i bye again thank you very much pal oh anytime it's uh it I, i'm having a lot of fun and i'm i'm really enjoying you know getting to know uh all these drivers in the AM grid. I think you said it in the AM2 interview, you know, where you race with these guys, but now being able to kind of link their personality and their voice, it adds a really nice personal touch. So really excited yeah, it to definitely keep you guys. Does. It, yeah, 100%. Yeah, you're right. I did say it in AM2, and you just said it in, in this one. And yeah, you're absolutely right. It's week in, week out, day in, day out. We, we, we speak quite a lot in Discord, a lot of us anyway, and it's always text, 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 and it doesn't mean anything. You know, you can say anything you want in a text, 
Um, and this, this, you know, you can't really get a personality through that. But when you've actually got someone on the other end of the phone, physically speaking, that's when true personality comes out. So these interviews aren't just to get create bragging rights or to create banter or rivalries. It's actually a genuine discussion with people who love this league and love this team, which a lot of us do, if not all. Um, and yeah, get them personalities out there. So we're not just a name on a Discord app, we're actually a voice as well. So yeah, again, absolutely amazing to have you both. Um, again, I said at the start, I'll say it again. If anyone who listens to this would like to uh, uh, get an interview, just drop me a message. If you're a, if you're an AM, drop our bar a message. If you'd rather, that's not an issue. Um, and yeah, we'll try and get you, uh, uh, you know, fit in. So again, thank you for both of you guys tonight for joining us. And uh, for everyone else out there, as I say, stay safe and take care. And we'll look forward to the next interview. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.